Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine, and I love <laughs> research. Um, I love when uh, there are lots more new studies coming out showing uh, the advantages of a plant-based diet. Um, now, when this comes to nutrition, uh, the mechanisms of action are important. Some of these studies show the overall benefits. Some of them are long-term studies. Some of them actually drill all the way down to the method of action, how they work. That's the most exciting ones. But even those studies that show uh, corollary, corollary um, evidence should make us want more research to come out uh, to confirm the actual mechanisms that are going on. So we're going to look at the uh, first study um, entitled uh, that came out in the Journal of Nutrition. It was entitled Long-Term Intake of Dietary Carotenoids in Positively Associated with Late Life Subjective Cognitive Function in prospective study in U.S. women. So this study is very interesting because one, it was a big study. Uh, it included over almost 50,000 women, uh, registered nurses, and watched them, watched their intake um, for over 22 years. That's amazing. So when you look at large population studies and studies that include long-term results, that's when it gets really exciting because then you can really see trends of what you may be consuming or, or taking as a supplement and how it can benefit you in the long term. Look, I, I'm going to be 58 and less than six months. So for me, having uh, been uh, plant-based uh, for 35 years, I'm really <laughs> seeing the advantages right now, uh, seeing so many of my friends with uh, advanced disease states and um, and and for me to be 100% drug free in some of the best shape of my life, physical fitness wise and health wise, and, and and completely drug free, no medications required, no disease states at all at 58. That, that's just a testament to the amazing benefits, especially in long term. So, but it's never too late to start. Don't let this deter you from starting, even if you're starting in your in your later years. But uh, let's talk about the study. So, the study um, uh, tracked women for 22 years, from uh, 1984 to 2006, um, looking at um, almost uh, over 49,000. Uh, registered nurses and tracked them every four years and uh, asked them about and uh, completed the survey about what they were consuming during that period of time. So the ones with the highest total carotenoids were associated with substantially lower risk of um, modest or poor cognitive function. That means they had a better cognitive ability than the majority of the people within the study who had lower amounts of carotenoid intake. So what are carotenoids? Well, most people immediately think of beta carotene, right? Beta carotene from carrots. Actually, sweet potatoes are even higher in beta carotene than carrots on a per gram basis. But um, there's lots of things that carry almost all your yellow and orange uh, fruits and vegetables. So even mangoes and the fruit side, uh, cantaloupes uh, have carotenoids. Um, uh, even on the reddish side, so red peppers um, can have uh, lots of carotenoids in it too, but also dark greens. That's right. Greens are actually some of the highest in carotenoids. That's beta carotene, lutein, um, zeaxanthin, just to name a few. Those are the more popular ones that we know, beta carotene being the most common one, uh, more commonly known as vitamin A beta carotene. They're different forms of beta carotene, different forms of vitamin A, beta carotene is one of them. So this is really important because carotenoids are only found in plants. They're only produced by plants. So the only way we can get them is through our diet or supplementation from plants. Now, an interesting study, I'm going to post this right now and post it so everyone can see it, um, are two different studies. The first study, which I just talked about, and I'll 
post it here too as well. Um, that way you can get the links to these studies and see them for yourselves. Um, the long-term intake of uh, dietary carotenoids actually associated overall life. So this looked at the positive benefits of carotenoids over a lifetime for these nurses, but it looked at them later in life, like how long did it take to get there? What's interesting I find is that lutein, one of the most uh, powerful carotenoids and important carotenoids, especially when you're talking about brain function, is uh, that a carotin our brain is actually um, preferential to lutein. So this is very interesting. Um, we, we've known that a, uh, another herb, um, curcumin, found in turmeric, um, can actually accumulate in the brain. The brain sucks up turmeric and holds on to it and actually can start to color the brain when they look at autopsies. You break open the brain, you can actually see that the brain has actually changed color slightly uh, in certain areas of the brain where it's stored. So that's, that's pretty amazing. What we didn't know up until just recently through research is that uh, the human brain also stores lutein. Now, that's really interesting because when we've looked at infants, in human infants, catch this, lutein accounts for about 60% of the total carotenoids in the brain of an infant, even though the mother consumes only about 12% of the carotenoids in their diet. That means even before we're born, our brain is soaking up as much carotenoids from the mother's diet as possible and soaking it and storing it in our brain. Why is this? Well, researchers are um, looking at that and seeing the correlation between brain health, especially prolonged brain health. So we're, the assumptions are that the brain is actually using these lutein uh, and carotenoids to actually protect the, the brain cells, the dendrites, the, the neurons in the brain from damage. And that can be damage from toxicity, damage from injury, damage um, that is normally associated with dementia or Alzheimer's or, or, or um, uh, age-related age memory impairment. All these things that concern people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, but should concern us all. And it's interesting that even inside the womb, our brain is soaking up lutein. So what are some good sources of lutein? Well, uh, kale was considered one of the better uh, sources of lutein out there, carrots too as well. But it's interesting that there's another plant out there called lentine. Yeah, that's right. The lentine that uh, we use in clean green protein. Lentine actually has 15 milligrams of lutein. And let's give you some perspective on that. So the average American adult is consuming about one to two milligrams of lutein a day. That's sad. And that's sad on its own, especially since most of the research shows about five to 10 milligrams of lutein is what's required to actually show real positive benefit. Most of the research studies I've been on that show an effectiveness are five to 10 milligrams. That's five times as much as the average American is consuming on a daily basis. Now, when you look at that, that five milligrams being the bare minimum cutoff and the average American getting only about one fifth of that, and then clean green protein, just one scoop provides 15 milligrams. That's three times as much in a single scoop. And you're done for the day for your lutein content. Your beta carotene at 46% in one scoop. That's amazing. So, you know, when I look at all these proteins out there that use just isolated pea and rice protein, they strip out all these nutrients and all you get is just the protein. And I'm like, that's terrible. That's not what we should be consuming post-workout or pre-workout. What we should be consuming is really nutrient-rich, nutrient-dense that help our bones. Remember the vitamin K. This has got 1,100% of vitamin K in it for healthy bones. Uh, fiber to nurture your uh, probiotics, including prebiotic fiber in it, so that you can absorb more of these nutrients from your food, build stronger bodies, it's not just protein that builds muscle. 
you need omega-3s, you need micronutrients, you need uh, minerals, all those found naturally occurring, including B12. Now, what's amazing about uh, having actual, real, true B12, bioactive B12, all three kinds of the bioactive, adenosyl, uh, methyl, and, and uh, um, hydroxycobalamin in there, all found right there, naturally occurring inside the plant. This is one of the first plants uh, commercially available to contain naturally occurring B12, important again for brain function. So you got that 15 milligrams of lutein, which is uh, up to three times higher than what's shown to be effective in studies. You've got the B12 in there. You've got uh, the uh, vitamin K. You've got the polyphenols in there. Polyphenols have also shown to be um, uh, rich uh, and responsive to helping in brain health. So you've got a whole host of brain health, but also things that are good for muscle health and muscle building too as well. That's amazing. So. Um, when we are talking about this, we look also at zeaxanthin. Zeaxanthin is another one of the carotenoids that we know is important for overall health. And again, remember, these only come from plants. Well, guess what? That's right. Two milligrams of zeaxanthin is what is considered to be effective in most of the studies out there. And a rounded scoop of clean green protein has that two milligrams of zeaxanthin as well. So all your lutein, all your beta carotene, all your zeaxanthin, all naturally occurring in a whole food plant. We use the whole plant, the whole water lentil, the lentine in the making of our protein powder. So you're getting true whole food nutrition, not stripped down. You know, when I look at those stripped down uh, uh, pea and rice protein blends that are out there, when they just isolate, just use isolates out there, I think of Wonder Bread. Remember when we used to, <laughs> a long time ago, we used to use the whole grain to make breads, right? Whole healthy grains. And now we know that whole grains are a really important part of our overall health. But then if you just strip out part of that, you got white flour and white bread. That's Wonder Bread, stripped down to its basics, right? Yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah, it tastes better. And that's exactly what most of the plant proteins, unfortunately, have done in using just only uh, stripped down isolated proteins is you're getting a Wonder Bread product instead of a whole food whole nutrient rich, nutrient dense with omega-3s and fiber and all of the vitamins and minerals naturally occurring. We don't add any synthetic vitamins or minerals. If you see that list down the back of the panel on the nutritional panel and they all come out to the same, all 25% or 100%, you know that that's synthetically added. Nature doesn't come into exact amounts like that. It's just not the way it works. What you see on the back of ours is varying different amounts because that's naturally occurring in there. None of that synthetic, cheap synthetic stuff that gets peed out within 24 hours. You know, we just don't do that. I don't believe in, you know, making a phony product label like that just by dumping a bunch of cheap crap in there and making you think, oh, it's got all the nutrition. No, we should be getting our nutrition mostly from its whole state. Now, there are different isolates that, that are effective and, and uh, extracts and herbs that are more effective, and that's based on research. But when you're talking about just basic protein, you should be looking at at least getting it. And remember, 60% of the protein in our product is from whole foods. So yes, for brain health, for heart health, for muscle health, you're getting a complete, uh, mostly whole food, nutrient rich from the most nutrient plant, <laughs> dense plant I could find out there, the highest in essential amino acids, highest in um, branch chain amino acids of any of the whole plants out there used as a protein source. That's amazing. That's what we should be doing for our bodies, especially during these times where our health and our immune system is more important than ever, and it can mean life or death for most of us. Remember, as a, as a disclaimer, nothing in this video should be intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease. According to the FDA, this video is for educational purposes. 
my goal is to try to help people go and choose a better plant source to get them the healthiest results in the healthiest way and get them the great performance results so you can get faster, better results in the gym while still paying attention to your health. I hope you enjoyed this. These are great studies. If you have any questions about the research or about what's in clean green protein or anything else that you're interested in talk, me talking about on our Facebook lives, just post it down there in the comments and I'll get it back to you. If you're watching this later, please know I am constantly posting new studies as they break. I'm reading the boards all the time for the new research being published and uh, anything that pertains to overall health and nutrition, especially when it goes to fitness, you can better believe I'll be getting it there. We've got a big, uh, big exciting launch coming up of a new product. We're going to be first again. That's right. We got actually two new products that are going to be first again. If you're watching this way later, these products may be out already, but really exciting new products that are going to be first. We were first to market with DM33 and Cellblock 80. We were the first to bring you ahi flour and sports nutrition, and we were the first to bring you lentine and clean green protein. And that is the most nutrient nutrient dense plant available in a protein powder right now so amazing stuff we're going to keep sending you the absolute best that nature has to offer so you can look for it here and of course everything we do is third party certified vegan non-gmo gluten-free and natural and that's what we're all about trying to stay natural healthy and keep this machine clean Thanks for joining me for another Facebook Live. We'll have some amazing guests coming up in the next couple of weeks, so you want to stay tuned for that. Thank you for joining me.